Okay, we're live. So, <clears throat> feel the feelings or let, letting go. So the one thing is that um, the, the ego is a, is a resistance to God. Yeah? The ego is the resistance to God. So what is the ego? The ego comprises of thoughts uh, and repressed feelings, shall we say. Thoughts and repressed feelings. So feel, if, you do, if, you can, if you continue to do feel the feelings as described, that would take you all the way to the enlightened, the non-dual state. Now, the practice is anyone who's strongly in ego is thinking non-stop and, and distracting and not feeling. So if you let go of your, if you get go of the identification with thoughts and allow all the repressed feelings to come up, uh, and until they until they're gone, and every time you identify with a thought, you disidentify with it, you let it go, detach from it. Then eventually there would be no there would be no attachment to thought, and every single repressed feeling that was left would be would dissipate away, and so there would be no thought and no repressed feelings. So that would take you all the way up to enlightenment. So how do we do this? So the thing. You just start off, you just become aware, you start off and you, and you realize, like, is there, what are you experiencing right now? Is there a feeling in the body? Is there, is there any sense of the body? Is there a sensation in the stomach, in the head? Whatever there is, if there's any sense of any feeling, any energy, any vibration that's being experienced, just allow and welcome just fully allow and welcome any energies, feelings or vibrations and fully allow them and welcome them and, and if there is a thought, as soon as a thought emerges in consciousness detach from that thought and go back and allow yourself to experience the feeling, feeling allow, it's not even a feeling, it's an energy it's not even an energy, it's a vibration if you don't allow yourself to identify with any thought you're not allowing any labelling then uh, it, it's, uh, it's a feeling, but not a feeling, it's an energy, it's a vibration. So don't, any thought has the power to, uh, to label. Also location, don't even, like, say you started off and you thought there was a, there was a, uh, a not, there was a sensation in the stomach. Let go of stomach, because that's a label. And let go of the location of stomach, that's a label. Let go of even like stomach, a sore stomach, because that's also a label. Let go of all labels, all thoughts around, and all stories around what's being experienced. Even a feeling is a label, it's not really a feeling. Even energy, it's not really energy. Even vibration, it's not. Just let go of all labels of what it is, uh, where it's located. As you let that go, just allow it to be. And if you, if you start to go into a thought, detach immediately and just allow the experiencing of the energy. <coughs> and as you're allowing the experiencing of the energy, it'll start to dissipate. As you allow it, it'll start to get more and more weaker. And then it will start to dissipate, become more and more non-local. And then it will just dissipate into, if you like, dissipate away. If another energy or more subtle energy or different feeling comes up, just allow it to be there and detach from any thoughts or labels about that. Now as you keep doing this, allowing this to happen, you, it's almost like consciousness is getting better and better at spending, allowing more and more time to experience any feelings or sensations that are coming up and, and there's less of a tendency to identify with thoughts or stories or labels around what's going on in the now. So. It might be that you're allowing a sensation to be experienced and then suddenly you identify with a thought. That thought may start to say, oh, I forgot to do my shop. No, disidentify from the thought before it catches and you go into a long story and just be back with whatever energy or vibration is being experienced. The better and better you become at just allowing any energies to be experienced without resistance and the quicker and quicker in consciousness that one can detach from any thoughts emerging it becomes quicker and quicker to see that a thought is just about to start to emerge and, and let it go and just allow the energy. 
if there's any any supervisor or any sort of unconscious monitoring of the process that's going on in the background, let that go. No, no thinker is needed to allow these energies to come up and dissipate. No thought is necessary for these energies to be experienced and released in consciousness. No labeling is required. Just allow these things. And if, if you're not identifying with any thought or any idea of a self, then there's not even you. You are not even allowing. You are not feeling the feeling. You're allowing consciousness, you're allowing the universe to just allow these things to dissipate. When there's no resistance, when there's full allowing and no identification with thought, these just dissipate into thin air. And if another layer of something comes up, just let that dissipate away and the next layer dissipate. And as you're disidentifying from thoughts and allowing these energies to dissipate into the ether, uh, the experiencing of uh, being more and more limitless and more and more non-local and more and more spacious will start to be experienced as everything that's dense is released. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just spend about um, five or ten minutes just sitting in silence and just allowing everything to dissipate away. <laughs>